Hello everyone. I'm George. Today, let's talk about English you can use at hotel. Okay, it's very close to Chinese New Year now. I know a lot of people are planning their trips, or the trips are already planned. Like me, I'm going on a trip during Chinese New Year time. It happens every year, and mostly I would just go to Japan. And this time is gonna be the same. If you're like me, sometimes I want to indulge myself a little bit. I don't want to stay in a crappy. <laughs> sometimes I would stay in residential areas, and I book the rooms through Airbnb. And sometimes I will book a really nice hotel because I want to be nice to myself, especially during Chinese New Year time. And this time I'm going to talk about when you book a hotel, you arranged everything, and the real challenge comes when you are ready to check in. That is the moment when you are talking to real people. You are not looking at your computer. You are not looking at your app. So you have to really start using your English. And we're gonna cover as much English as possible when you are at a hotel and you are making requests. The way that we're gonna introduce it is according to the time. So we're gonna start with the check in all the way to check out. I hope this will cover all the English that you are going to use when you are staying at a hotel. Of course, a lot of times you can just use your gestures or use your maybe Chinese or it depends on which country you go to. You can use whichever. Language you can have, or maybe they even offer a staff that can speak Chinese. But you know what? If you really want to get whatever you want right away, then it's never better than having the ability to speak a little bit of English, right? And here we go. Check in. You know, when you're checking in, not only will you have to give them your passport, you also have to start talking about. Um, your reservation number and the name of yours, and also you might have to talk about how many nights you are going to stay there. When you are staying at a hotel, you are not calculating how many days you are staying there. You are going to use nights because that's the real time that you're going to spend there, right? And of course, when you're checking in, there are a lot of requests you can make. For example, you can ask for a single room. That is the room for only one person, and you can also ask for a double room. That sometimes would be the same size as a single room, but with a double-sized mattress. That means it's just a little bit bigger than a single bed. And if you're traveling with your friends, you can either ask for a double-sized bed or twin beds. Twin beds means you are sleeping in separate single beds. That is always about the mattresses they're using. In many cases, you can choose whichever kind of sizes you want before you check in, but you can also change it if it is available at the front desk when you are checking in. And of course, if you want to have a more luxurious experience, you can also choose a queen-sized bed or a king-sized bed. Normally, a king-sized bed is a little bit wider than a queen-sized bed. And other than the mattresses that you can choose, you can also choose the views that you have in the room. You can simply tell the staff that you want a room with a view, either a mountain view or the ocean view. Well, it depends on where you go to. For example, if you are staying in a city, you want a view. You can also ask for a room on a higher floor. Or of course, if you feel more secured when you're staying on lower floors, you can also ask for that. And there's always one more thing that I would ask for: is non-smoking room. If you go to a country that a lot of people are smoking, for example, like Japan, it's very, very important. Especially when you have the same problem as me. I have allergy problems, so I cannot stay in the same room as a person who is smoking. Let alone the furniture with residual smoke smell in it. So I would always choose a non-smoking room. A non-smoking room is opposed to a smoking room. It depends on what kind of preference you have. You can choose whichever that you like. When you're checking in, it is also the time when you can ask about the breakfast for the next morning. Sometimes they would offer you some kind of breakfast coupon. That will be a piece of paper that guarantees that you can get your breakfast the next morning. Some hotels don't offer that. You can just show up the next morning at the restaurant. You tell them your room number, and you can enjoy your breakfast. And that is at the checking in. 
So let's move on to when you go into a room. So after you go into the room, let's just talk about how I would usually check the rooms. I would go into the room. I would see if everything is there, including if there is an air conditioner with a remote, of course, or sometimes they would have a heater if you go out during winter time. So you're gonna have to check if the heater is working, or you're gonna freeze at night, or it's gonna be very difficult for you to go through the night. And then, of course, talking about the warmth, you cannot sleep without a quilt. You can also call it a cover. That is something that you put on top of yourself when you're sleeping. Sometimes people would just ask for an extra one. Of course, you can call the front desk. And ask for an extra one. And then, if you're like me, I would a lot of times need two pillows because just one pillow is not enough for me. I like to make sure that when I'm sleeping in my bed, I sink into my bed totally, including my head. And then you want to make sure that if the TV is working, if the refrigerator is working. By the way, if you're staying in a very expensive hotel. Don't eat anything from the refrigerator. They're super expensive. You don't want to pay for that after the stay. And then also, don't try to switch all over to any TV channels that you can watch because sometimes the movies are not free. You're gonna pay for them later, and they don't tell you not until when you're checking out. So be careful. And then you might want to check if in the bathroom everything is there. There should be some kind of bathroom amenities. Amenities would be things that you use when you're taking a shower, when you're shaving. So there should be a shower cap, maybe, or shampoo, or shower gel. And for guys, you might need razors to shave. They always provide that. There will be some combs for you to use.、Uh, most of them are disposable. That means if you don't want to use them, you can just bring them with you. Since they are disposable, they're gonna throw them away anyway. Sometimes they would even provide bathrobes. That is for you to put on after you take a shower or take a bath. I've once stayed in a hotel that is so extravagant. They even provide bath salt. Bath salt is something you put into your bath, so there will be some kind of bubbles when when you are taking a bath. And something very nice about this is. You can always ask for some extra ones if you need them. Oh, and 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 then I forgot. You can always put on slippers that are provided by the hotel rooms. Sometimes they are made of cloth, and most of the times they are made of paper. Always disposable, so you can take them home. You cannot take the bathrobes home, by the way. And there is also some complimentary coffee or tea bags. That they offer. Sometimes the coffees are instant coffees, but from my experience, when I stayed in hotels in Australia, they always provide real coffee, and that'll be the ground coffee. It's those little tiny capsules they made, and you put it into a coffee machine, and you can just drink a fresh cup of coffee every day in the morning, or that drink coffee at night. It depends on whatever you want to drink them. And that is for the night. Let's fast forward to the time when you're checking out. When you're checking out, it's not necessarily the time that you have to go to the airport or ready to go home. You want to stay in the city for half more day, and you want to visit around. So you can ask if you can store your luggage at the hotel front desk. Most hotels would provide that kind of service, and if it is really time for you to check out, you can also ask the front desk if they provide any shuttle buses or any kind of service for you to go to the airport. Sometimes they would provide limousine for you to go to the airport, so that is easier. They can arrange the time for you, and sometimes there are shuttle buses that are free, or they can hail a taxi for you. It's always. Easier and always safer if the hotel can provide the service for you. And of course, you can always take the public transportation like I do whenever I go abroad. But in that case, you have to be very familiar with the whole system, how it works, and how much money you're gonna have to pay there. And when you're checking out, you need to pay for the hotel service. Remember, this is the time when they're asking you whether you had any drinks from the refrigerator or you've watched any kind of movie services on TV. Don't forget that. 
and you can either pay in cash or with a credit card. And of course, you can also have the Android Pay, Samsung Pay, and Apple Pay. They offer a lot of discount if you want to use them. Discount, it's also something you can ask for now. And this is about it right from when you're checking in all the way to when you're checking out. So is there any other things that I've not mentioned? I'm just talking according to my own experience. There is a big chance that I miss something, so please make sure that you tell me. You can just ask me in the comment area below and I will answer you. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below or you can subscribe to my channel. I'm going to enjoy my trip. I'll see you next time. Bye!